Unfold 100 years ago on March 29th at August Belmont's Nursery Stud, Man of War is still one of the most recognizable names in thoroughbred racing and continues to be considered by many as the greatest racehorse of all time. This saddle was used by jockey Clarence Coomer aboard Man of War for his match race against Sir Barton. Man of War was considered to be the top three-year-old of 1920, but for some, the chestnut colt needed to prove his worth against older horses before they could declare that he was the greatest thoroughbred of his time. So racing fans were delighted when a match race between Man of War and the first winner of the American Triple Crown, Sir Barton, was arranged. Held in Canada at Kenilworth Park, the race was highly anticipated by the public. Man of War was the clear favorite with $132,000 wagered on him at the pair of mutual machines while only $14,000 was placed on Sir Barton. Man of War won the race easily, finishing seven lengths ahead of Sir Barton. Eighteen years later, one of the most well-known match races was arranged between Man of War's most notable progeny, War Admiral, and the leading thoroughbred from the West Coast, Seabiscuit. The year prior to the match race, War Admiral had captured the Triple Crown, went undefeated in eight starts, and was named Horse of the Year, and Seabiscuit was the handicap champion at top money earner of 1937. Both horses' achievements led racing fans to call for a match race to determine which thoroughbred was the best racehorse. The race was finally arranged for November 1, 1938 at Pimlico Racecourse. This item is a program that was purchased at the track on the day of their match race. War Admiral was favored with odds of 1 to 4. However, in this contest, it was the underdog that prevailed. More than 40,000 people were in attendance to see the spectacle. Seabiscuit took an early lead, and although War Admiral was able to catch up to Seabiscuit and run neck and neck with him until the horses entered the final stretch, Seabiscuit pulled away, won the race by four lengths, and set a new track record. Come see these items and more at the Kentucky Derby Museum's temporary exhibit, Man of War, The Legacy, set to open April 8th.